Alright, welcome back to the channel. CBR 1000 RR build, actually the CBR 1100 RR build, because you know this shit's bored out to 1052 CC. We doing big things over here. But anyways, let me stop messing around. Just got my block back for it. I sent this out to get done. Um, it's an aluminum, actually aluminum cylinder block, but because of that it has to run a special coating inside which is this kneecap coating so i had it sent out to get it bored and honed because like i said i am going oversized yeah these are the pistons and rods i showed you before got the max peating rods wasco pistons uh these are 13 5 to 1 compression up from the 12 3 to 1 compression and with the factory dinky rods from the original setup that's not even the that's this is all oem setup and then uh these are running were originally a 12 3 to 1 compression so we up on compression and went from a 76 millimeter piston to a 78 millimeter this right here is an original block this block is also oem yeah i blew it up a while ago this was my uh 2010 you can see inside where the actually went lean and ate up the ate up that coating and fucked this one all up so um you see, this is a 76 millimeter piston fits right in there perfectly, no problem. But you bring it over here to this one I had done, you can see it just doesn't even fit because it's oversized. But you take my new piston, the Wiseco, and that bad boy fits in there perfectly. So yeah, with that high compression piston and an oversized, this thing's gonna be moving some air for real. And you bring it over to this one, you see it doesn't even fit in there. That's factory. So, <clears throat> that's where I'm at with that. I actually have to wait a little bit before I can actually fully assemble the block because when I went to order the stupid ass rod bearings, did not realize that Honda only sold one side. So, I assumed I was getting both sides. So, I ordered those. I should be getting those in the next couple days. But I do have all my main bearings, got those ready and i ordered new piston rings for all my pistons and those should actually be in today so i'm on the downhill now i'm gonna actually put this all together the head i just had sent off to the machine shop because it had uh four well a couple bent valves so i had another head so they're gonna take the valves out of that head put them over to the other head check everything make sure that's 100 percent. so i'm good to go there so basically, I'm just waiting for the shop to call me right now. As soon as my parts come in, they're gonna let me know and I'll definitely be picking it up. So I definitely have some stuff come in where um, I'll definitely have it together, have the pistons in and have that assembled. I'm gonna start doing that. Probably today I'll have the pistons in. You basically gotta pull. It's kind of crazy how you gotta sandwich it because you gotta pull. A matter of fact, while I'm talking to you, uh, I just got a message that uh, my parts are in, so uh, yeah, let me pick up this video because they literally just popped up on my screen that my parts are here right now, right now. So yeah, I'm going to go over there, go pick up my parts, and um, I'll get back and let's start putting this thing together, man. I'll show you what I got. But yeah, man, please like and subscribe to the channel, man. I know I haven't been the best with posting, but I'll be better, but I, I need y'all to support me. I need, I, I need them views, you know what I'm saying, because I have no problem bringing the content. But it just sucks when you put in all that work and ain't nobody looking at it. So a lot of people know me from Instagram, TikTok, but man, please like and subscribe, man. Cause uh when I'm done this, my next is that. I'm pulling that part. We going in the head, we doing some work, but I'll tell you about that later. But like I said, I got some good content coming, man. We we ain't gonna be no bolt on boys over here. A lot of people are just bolting these bikes together doing boltons, man. I'm trying to do WSBK for the street. So yeah, stay tuned, man. Let me go. Let me go get these parts, man. I'll be back. All right, I went and picked up my gaskets. That's all they have for me right now. I have my lower gasket, which sits under this piece here, and my head gasket. But I'm still waiting to get my head back. So I could do a little bit. Can't do too much because until I get to the rest of the uh, the rod bearings, I can't really I can't really put the block together yet. But what I'm gonna do is go ahead and at least put the gasket on here. That's what's kind of cool about these. They got removable blocks. Let's see if I pull off one here. There you go. Alright, there you go. 
So that's the block right there. That's what's pretty dope about these. They're removable, so if you just tear up the liners, you can just replace the block, and if a piston's tore, replace the piston, and you're good to go. So that's the open block right now. So basically, I'm just going to clean this up, get all this old crap cleaned up off of there so I can set the new gasket on. Once I set the new gasket on, I can set the block in. Set the block in, and I can start putting the pistons in. So I'm going to go ahead and start doing that, and uh, yeah, I'll keep you all Keep y'all up as I go. Yeah, ain't nothing special or glorious about this, man. It's a regular scraper. And just get up in here and scrape all this crap off so that way when the new gasket goes on there, it can have a nice clean mating surface. So this is not interesting to film, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up and uh get back with you. Alright, I got my surface all cleaned up. It's good to go now. I can lay the gasket on it. End up using this little fine ass polishing pad, you just end up cleaning it out all off, and it looks pretty good. So, let me go ahead and get the gasket out of the plastic, lay that down. I can put the block back on and start putting the pistons in it. Shit hanging up on me. Just this one. There we go. All right. Now I got that laid down. Now I got that laid down. Go ahead, put the cylinder block back on. There we go. There you go. So basically, it sandwiches it in because it's all studded. So the head gets put on, and then you put the head bolts on, torque everything down, and it compresses everything. But there's only basically these two bolts to hold it in place in the meantime. So I'm going to go ahead and put those two bolts in. I could go ahead and start putting the pistons in a hole. Um, I think I might wait on that, but that's the point I'm at now. Is I got to put the pistons in a hole. Once I put the pistons in a hole, I got to split the, split the case in half. Then I lay the crankshaft in, bolt the rods to the crankshaft. Then I close the other part of the case and then bolt the case up. That's basically like bolting down the main so I'm at that point right now so here in a little bit I'm gonna get back at it I'll be putting the pisses in and getting the case up so it'll be a couple days before I get those parts but yeah man she's coming along man CBR baby let's get it can't wait to get this thing on the dyno man soon she's looking she looking beautiful alright I picked up my gaskets that's all they have for me right now I have my Lower gasket, which sits under this piece here, and my head gasket, but I'm still waiting to get my head back. So, I could do a little bit, can't do too much, because until I get to the rest of the, uh, the rod bearings, I can't really I can't really put the block together yet, but what I'm going to do is go ahead and at least put the gasket on here. That's what's kind of cool about these. I got removable blocks. Let's see if I can pull off one here. There you go. So that's the block right there. That's what's pretty dope about these. They're removable, so if you just tear up the liners, you can just replace the block. And if a piston's tore, replace the piston, and you get to go. So that's the open block right now. So basically, I'm just gonna clean this up, get all this old crap cleaned up off of there, so I can set the new gasket on. Once I set the new gasket on, I can set the block in. Set the block in, and I can start putting the pistons in. So. I'm gonna go ahead and start doing that, and uh, yeah, I'll keep y'all, keep y'all up as I go. Yeah, ain't nothing special or glorious about this, man. It's a regular scraper, and just get up in here and scrape all this crap off, so that way when the new gasket goes on there, it can have a nice clean mating surface. So, this is not interesting to film, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that cleaned up and uh, get back with you. Alright, I got my surface all cleaned up. It's good to go now. I can lay the gasket on it. End up using this little fine ass polishing pad. Just end up cleaning it out all off. And it looks pretty good. So, let me go ahead and get the gasket out of the plastic, lay that down. I can put the block back on and start putting the pistons in it. Get hanging up on me. Just this one. There we go. Alright, now I got that laid down. Now I got that laid down. Go ahead, put 
the cylinder block back on. So basically, it sandwiches it in because it's all studded, so the head gets put on and then you put the head bolts on, torque everything down and it compresses everything. But there's only basically these two bolts to hold it in place in the meantime. So I'm going to go ahead and put those two bolts in. I can go ahead and start putting the pistons in a hole. Um, I think I might wait on that, but that's the point I'm at now is I got to put the pistons in a hole. Once I put the pistons in a hole, I got to split the split the case in half then I lay the crankshaft in bolt the rods to the crankshaft then I close the other part of the case and then bolt the case up that's basically like bolt down the main so I'm at that point right now so here in a little bit I'm gonna get back at it I'll be putting the pisses in and getting the case up so it'll be a couple days before I get those parts but yeah man she's coming along man CBR baby let's get it can't wait to get this thing on the dyno, man. Soon, she's looking, she looking beautiful. All right, got the pistons out. I'm gonna have to um, start putting the rings on, but I can't do all my pistons right now. But I'm gonna explain to you my bearings and what I got going on with that. So basically, see what I'm looking at. I got the block over here. Got my pistons over here. Got the crankshaft over here. Head gasket over there. You know, CBR over here. S1K over there. Anyways, so when it comes to the bearing sizes, the mains are pretty easy. Mains I ain't changed because the crank, all the mains are the same, so I didn't change the diameter of that at all. But there's basically a coating system that you gotta look at. If you look at, uh, hold on one second, let me get this light on so you can see better. All right, if you look on the front of this, you can see those numbers are actually upside down, but you see a set of numbers and you see a set of letters. That's basically how you size the crank. There's a chart you have. You take those numbers or that you have off of there, and then you match them with the ones you have here. And then you look at BMW's chart, and it'll tell you which bearings you need for your mains. Well, when you get to these, I'm running aftermarkets, so I can't. That really doesn't apply for those, because this is telling me for my rod. So I'm not going to use the numbers off of that. So I basically had to go in there size everything up down to the ten thousandths and that's how i got my bearings and actually on these i'm running three different size bearings just to be exact that's how precise you got to be with this so actually i got two these are my bearings right here so you see i got what i got a green a brown a green and there's another one somewhere i need to locate oh. all right yeah here it is it was under my crankshaft so i got a yellow so actually, out of all three of these, I'm running three different size bearings. Only two of them, I believe, two and four are going to be running the same size bearing, whereas one and three are running different sizes. So I actually, if I put it together, I actually have bearings for one, or I could put in half size until I get the other side. But I don't know. I'll figure out because I really want to put this thing together and want to get it started. So. I figure I give you a little information on how to do these bearings and how much, how crazy and finicky these motors are. Because when you're spinning that 13, 14,000 RPM, you got to make sure everything is precise, or you're gonna have some problems. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the piston rings on here. I was actually got those right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and at least get this one mounted. And I don't know, I might do all of them, but I'll figure out as I go. But if you look at the rings this is how you can tell I don't know if you can see it but right here can't can't really see it very well but there's a little mark little end that tells you what's up kind of see there a little bit but that tells you what's up on there so I'm gonna go ahead and get those on the on the piston and I'm gonna get at least one put in a hole and uh, I'll show you that all right all right change of plans I actually got all my bearings now so um I'm gonna go ahead and break this video off here and um, I'm gonna start the next video. So definitely watch this one. Please like, subscribe, man. And um, I basically got everything to build the whole block today. So I have everything but the camshaft. So it's gonna be, tell me, six to eight weeks before I get those. But yeah, man, follow, like, subscribe, man. About to get this shit built. She's gonna be on the dyno soon. Let's go.